Welcome to a brief history of the department's founding. At the request of then department chair, Dr. Lee McLean, the Health Sciences Library began an archives history project around the year 2009 to learn about the founding of the department. This followed several earlier forays into the archives to assist several divisions in establishing their histories, often as they were preparing to celebrate program anniversaries. Note that some of the programs now part of the department existed before the founding of the department itself. More detailed timelines, information, and photos of historical documents from UNC's Wilson Library Archives can be found on the Health Sciences Library Online Guide, A History of the Creation of the Department of Allied Health Sciences at UNC Chapel Hill. With the opening of the North Carolina Memorial Hospital in 1952, a few allied health programs were established at the hospital, notably the Physical Therapy Rehabilitation Program, also with a connection to the School of Medicine. Over a period of years, other programs were scattered across different schools of the university, not all in health affairs, with loose connection via a coordinating officer in the Dean's Office of the School of Medicine. In 1966, a key event occurred when Congress passed the game-changing Public Law 89751, making federal funds available for the development of allied health professions training programs. As a result, then Vice Chancellor for Health Affairs, Dr. C. Arden Miller, called together representatives from the schools of medicine, dentistry, nursing, pharmacy, and public health in January of 1967 to discuss the implications of this legislation. This meeting notably included Dr. Margaret Moore, who had developed the first clinical physical therapy program at the hospital, served as chief of the department there, and then became director of the Division of Physical Therapy in 1957, when education and service commitments in the hospital and School of Medicine were combined. She eventually became assistant dean for allied health professions programs. As a result of these discussions in February of 1967, a university-level Allied Health Professions Committee was established to submit a grant proposal for the funds made available under the federal law and to determine how Carolina wanted to move forward to train allied health professionals. There were many twists and turns in the discussions that took place between those early meetings in 1967 and the actual establishment of the department enrolling its first students in academic programs in the academic year 1973-1974. Dr. Margaret Moore was a strong advocate for the establishment of the School of Allied Health Sciences, as evidenced by this January 1970 letter to then Chancellor J. Carlisle Sitterson. UNC did submit a planning grant proposal to the Federal Bureau of Health Manpower, one of over 200 submitted, in time for the May 1971 review process. Much of the back and forth discussion involved differing opinions among the different stakeholders as to whether the establishment should be of a department and within what school, or of a full-fledged school itself. For example, on February 2, 1970, the Dean's Cabinet of the School of Public Health went on record supporting a school, and it seemed that it might become a reality, possibly that year. A May 6, 1971 memo to the Vice Chancellor for Health Sciences reiterated the Allied Health Professions Committee's unanimous recommendation to establish a school. However, later correspondence revealed that this was not to be. Among the documents found in the archives was a sharply worded May 24, 1971 letter from Dr. Ce Cecil Sheps, Vice Chancellor for Health Sciences, to Dr. Isaac Taylor, Dean of the School of Medicine through 1971, that sought to confirm that the School of Medicine did not endorse a School of Allied Health. Vice Chancellor Sheps asked Dean Isaac Taylor to indicate what was meant by, quote, concern that allied health education would follow route of nursing education and to indicate what type of control you believe the medical school faculty needs to have over allied health programs, end quote. On May 31, 1971, Dr. Taylor confirmed the medical school's position and further explained the statement and the position. In his June 7 response, Dr. Sheps thanked Dean Taylor and let him know that Chancellor Sitterson, who was stepping down, quote, did not want to make a decision on this matter, feeling that it should be left to the next chancellor, end quote. Later, in November of 1971, 
plans were put forward by the School of Medicine that would lead to adopting a separate department for allied health within the school. On February 4, 1972, School of Medicine Dean Christopher Fordham III informed Dr. Sheps, Vice Chancellor for Health Sciences, that the medical faculty approved a proposal at its winter meeting to establish a Department of Medical Allied Health Professions. He asked for administrative approval to proceed. Programs being discussed at this point in time included graduate degrees in occupational therapy, physical therapy, and hospital administration. Earlier, programs such as dental hygiene, radiology technology, and laboratory technology had been discussed, along with rehabilitation counseling, then in the School of Education. Finally, on March 21, 1972, the new chancellor, Nelson Faraby Taylor, a native of the state and a graduate of UNC, sent a telegram to NIH reporting that he had approved the establishment of a Department of Medical Allied Health Professions within the School of Medicine. The first documentary evidence found for student enrollment in these programs within the School of Medicine came from the record of the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill in the catalog of the School of Medicine for academic year 1973-1974. For the first time, the department was listed along with the academic course offerings for each program.